Well, Chinese investors have poured in nearly 1.4 billion U.S. dollars into the Korean stock market over the past six months, backed by ample liquidity and a relaxation of offshore investment regulations. In fact, the Chinese have become the largest foreign net buyers of Korean shares. So why the surge and what needs to be done to keep up the attraction? Dr. Kim byung ju as always, joins me live in the studio. So, Dr. Kim, how mm -hmm. big is this surge? It's overall, the magnitude itself seems to be quite significant mm -hmm. here. And we have prepared numbers. Let's uh, bring it up so that our viewers can get to watch it. The starting point of 2000, uh, starting point of this inflow began, was actually at, uh, back in 2008. Uh, starting from June that year, 2008, Chinese government designated Korea as a possible investment destination for Chinese money and since then money has been pouring in and what you're seeing on the screen right here is almost like three times jump within four years time starting from 2009 reaching 2013 and as you can easily tell from the graphs here uh, this year it will easily exceed last year's 2.2 trillion one inflow so overall the amount itself is uh, pretty big, uh, quite big indeed, and the analysts are, uh, seem to be in unison, uh, in, you know, in unity, in expecting actually this kind of uh, flow will continue on in the long run. For sure. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, this year it would easily top, I think, maybe a three trillion won or right. three billion US dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, how does it compare with money flowing in from other parts of the globe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's bring up uh, next number that we have prepared to explain that. Overall, uh, as you mentioned, it, it is, uh, you know, d during the specific time period now, in terms of net buying itself, let, let's bring up the numbers here. Uh, in terms of net buying, China is, has become the largest, at least for this year, during the period of time, January and May. Uh, January through May. Of course, European investors, uh, United investors, they buy a lot and then what happens is they sell a lot too. And mm -hmm. Chinese investors, they seem to be holding these stocks once they buy these. That's why it makes China the largest net uh, buyer of stocks. So don't be misled here. Uh, Western investors are pretty active here. And, and when I say active, I mean in both buying and selling. And from Korean perspective, what we need is this kind of uh, big time net buyers in order to keep, to keep the stock market up. So mm -hmm. indeed, Chinese investors are being welcomed uh, the way I see it with uh, great enthusiasm here in Korea because of their tendency of this kind of net buying. Even though their t absolute amount to make kind of vary and all that. Uh, the interesting thing is Chinese buying of Korean um, asset market mm -hmm. uh, was well known ahead of time of the stock buying behavior in the form of uh, Korea's, uh, buying Korea's uh, bonds. In terms of Korean bond market, they uh, back in 2008, 2009, they purchased about 1.8 trillion one net worth, 2010 about 4.7 trillion, and then 2011 3.7 trillion. We don't have a number for 2012 and 13 yet, but so uh, there, this is not like what they're doing only in the stock market here. They're, they've been doing this in the bond, bond market, market as well. Uh, yeah, overall and asset market as a whole mm. because, you know, the uh, real estate, they've been buying Jeju-do uh, lands in Jeju Island big time as well. So it's overall what we see here is uh, Chinese enthusiasm with regard to Ch uh, Korea's asset market as a whole. Well, I suppose this is good news because we know that the China is a booming market and, you know, um, the Chinese investors who are wealthy are very wealthy mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of money to spare right. in Korea. Mm -hmm. So what accounts for this surge from China? Uh, there are several factors here. I, I've already mentioned a real estate market, uh, especially Chinese uh, buying behavior of uh, lands in, uh, you know, Jeju Island here. And what that explains is in China, their real estate market used to be a very hot market for investment of their money. But their real estate market is cooling off. So that's why we are seeing this money being moved towards Korea's real estate market in Jeju Island where they can freely, relatively freely buy these lands. And leftover is shown in the Korea's financial market as well. So cooling of Chinese real estate market is number one cause. And uh, the other one is Chinese liberalization of their finance as mm -hmm. a whole, allowing the outflow of capital here. And uh, that has uh, driven up overall outflow in total. But Korea is one of their top 
destination of their, uh, you know, the money. That's why we are seeing here. And overall, why uh, is Chinese encouraging the outflow here? Because they are afraid of the further appreciation of Chinese yuan, because they don't want to see their current be uh, currency becoming any stronger than that. And then also, they don't want to see inflation as well. So mm -hmm. there is a reason for encouraging this kind of outflow. Plus, lastly, overall, what's happening is uh, diversification. Uh, so far, until up to this moment, uh, Chinese investment was usually made in yuan uh, assets at home and then dollar assets overseas. But they want to diversify. What's been happening is Hong Kong used to be a big place, but Hong Kong, the gap between the market difference between Hong Kong and the mainland has been narrowing. Mm -hmm. So they're, they've been losing their merits there. And then uh, other places like Switzerland, they've been losing their merits for other reasons that we don't want to spend too much on here mm -hmm. as well. So that's why. Korea is catching up in relation with other competition. Well, would it be safe to say that uh, Korea is all the more attractive to Chinese investors uh, because of its uh, familiarity with the country? Right, indeed. Uh, let's bring up next the pie chart that we have prepared here. And it, actually, I mentioned that Korea is fast becoming uh, Chinese, uh, one of Chinese favorite here. As you can see, Hong Kong used to be the favorite one. It's shrinking gradually. United States was the major one, but now Korea comes like r right next to it, number three here. And what we are expecting, as I said, is Korea fast becoming bigger number three and I don't know one day maybe catching up with the United States I don't know about that but here in the screen here what you have to pay attention to is the fact that we are ahead of Taiwan that means mm. a lot here so uh, they're saying that the relative importance of Korea will only continue to increase over time in the future and I suppose that's uh, that's good news for the Korean sub market mm. and the Korean economy as absolutely, a whole. Absolutely. And um, we would really like to see more of Chinese investors making right. their buying up Korean stocks in the future. Right, that's for sure. All right, thank you so much for today, Dr. Kim Byung-ju. Thank you.